Okay, let's down Minnesota Vikings. Guys, do you guys want a day in a life? I've I've been curious to just put I feel like I want to just like I have this itch to vlog. So kill like button if you guys want a day in the life video or something like that, just to see a typical day. I I want I don't not that I feel like you guys don't know me, because you see me like for three hours at a time, but like I do feel like I have a somewhat interesting life. So let me know, guys. Kill the like button if you guys want to see that. 10,000 likes, I'll try and make that happen. Enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, the Minnesota Vikings, bam, bam, fellas, season three. I love this franchise. Honestly, please, if you guys want another one of these in two to three days, please kill the like button. 10,000, if you're a true Minnesota Vikings franchise fan, which I know you are, if you're watching this, Timmy, George, and Joe, if you want to renew this, and I want this ASAP, all you got to do is kill the like button. Tell 10 friends. Super Bowl journey. This is probably the most interesting franchise because there's the most uncertainty with this franchise. Uh, but kill the like button. And then the comment question of the day is throughout the two years, who is your guys' favorite player slash story on the team? Our team's actually like just we're not the greatest. You know, we're we're fighting, we're rebuilding slowly, we're getting better. Uh, but who's been your guys' favorite player through two years? I am going to give my answer. Um, my answer is Kalen Barnes. He's almost up to an 80. He has been electric in both seasons. Three last season, but he locked everyone up in 10 picks his rookie year. Um, he was unbelievable. I love Andrew Booth Jr. I thought Andrew Booth Jr. had a really good chance um, to move up. He had five picks last year. But honestly, the best story on this team is Jaden Daniels. QB of the future. Officially getting superstar abilities after almost winning MVP in his rookie year. Uh, the guy ran for almost 600. I'm tailoring a running offense around Jaden Daniels this year. Um, he ran for almost 600 yards last season. Received superstar honors. And ladies and gentlemen, the Vikings have our QB of the future. Um, Alexander Madison is an absolute stud. Jordan Addison, biggest shock of the entire season. I got him up to superstar at the end of last year. He's about to start getting some really good abilities as we go. Um... Overall, there's some things I want to attack in the draft. Some things that we're going to get into. We got to talk free agency uh, first. As far as big things we've done in this franchise, we re-signed Daniel Hunter, a move that I am very, very, very happy with. He now gets the best abilities in the game. Um, a sad thing that happened in the offseason, paging agent Harrison. And honestly, this is the, why I love my job. Like I drafted Sage Ryan to replace, long-term replace, and I got Sage Ryan up to a superstar in one year. Um, and we have our replacement for Harrison Smith, which I think is beautiful. Harrison retires. He's going to retire on the team. He, he should just retire because I can't have his 84 speed out there anymore. But also at DB, there's some other things that, that went down at DB. I, I played this Makai Blackman a lot um, last season. He got a lot of minutes. He had two picks last year. Uh, and there was one other guy that I was giving pretty decent minutes to is this um, a Caleb Evans, I was really giving him time. And I'm, it all comes back to the Byron Murphy situation. So, essentially, we are in re-sign at the moment. Um, and I am not giving... So, part of the reason I started playing rookies is because I just I can't give Byron Murphy this. I know Byron Murphy, I like him as a player. UW, maybe my favorite college. I've been to a couple of their games. Um, I just don't think you can pay $11 million a year in this game for an 89 speed DB. So, gonna have to say goodbye. Now, I have my last chance with Ezra Cleveland. Cleveland Irons is what I call him. Um, I gotta offer him a really good deal. And I, I'm, I, I knew that that was what it was gonna take, but I, I really do like him. Jalen Rager, um, wants more than I thought, honestly. He has no interest. He's been a really cool story on this team. I wanted to get him superstar. He was one of the players that I was most excited about. Um, really wanted him to be a superstar. Just never really panned out. Honestly, never got the dev games. I think in this draft, I'd like to go after a bit more of a speed receiver, if I'm being honest. Everyone else here, I'm okay letting go. Jalen Rager, I like, I'm not content with letting him go. This doesn't feel good. But like he's the only offer he'll accept is six million a year. I can do better in the draft. Unfortunately for Jalen Rager, um, the world is cruel sometimes. And he is he's gonna be at the site. He's gonna realize that real quick. 
So those are going to be the players that I am I'm letting go. Now, we're building around Jaden Daniels. That's essentially everything. He's a 90 speed. Got him as a 63 overall. He has the potential to become kind of a like a Jamie Newman storyline. He was a, he was a bronze to superstar in one year. He has all the intangibles um, to become really good. No. Sorry, I don't mean to yawn. I, don't, I was up very early, but I'm not tired. I just yawned. If you Oh, let me know if you guys yawn too, because I know that's a thing. Um, Early in his thing, he's not going to get the greatest things, but he is a one-year guy, and he's only 24 years old. So, like I said, I do feel bad for Jaron Hall, but Jaron Hall's 27 with an 11,000 XP bar. Like, the poor guy was just 25 years old when he got drafted. Uh, I, loved El I love Alexander Madison. That's my running back no matter what. Guys, free agency is going to come. I kind of want to make a splash. I, I feel like Jaden Daniels is ready. If there is someone there, I got $100 million. I was kind of preparing last season to make a splash in this offseason. If there's some good players in free agency, I might just go crazy. I've been preparing for this. We're cheap at a lot of positions. I know I have to pay Justin Jefferson, but like I'm ready to make a splash. I'm ready to spend some money. Let's go. Free agency. Oh my gosh. Someone messed up. Somebody messed up. I Okay, the only person that I'm going to say, or like, I'm assuming, because I know the Bengals, dude. Okay, so, oh, players that I'm most interested in here. Honestly, when I look at this... This guy is like my favorite player in the entire league. I love T. Higgins. He's not what I need right now. You know, he's just not what I, this is a really good friend. The type of player that I need is a quest. I need a burner, but I feel like I can attack that in the draft. I'd rather go a little younger. I want to spend, I, I consider Demarcus Lawrence the type of guy you splurge on. I think he's underrated. I think that's an underrated position in this game. I think when you have a really good defensive tackle, which we don't really have, Tonga we have, I think that's underrated. And I told you, I am ready to spend money in this free agency. I'm the first one here, and there is a long time that everyone has. But I'm ready to drop a few hundred million on some of these guys and create, hopefully, oh, I like a lot of these receivers. Hmm. Gabriel Davis would be really cool. Could also get a tight end and run two. Ooh, you know what? I think this team is built really well for a two tight end offense. When I like act when I actively use my brain with my two receivers. I think I'm going to offer a little bit of money to Parham. I think that's that'll be somebody that I'm I'm interested in. Now, we're only allowed to bid on one X factor or on one superstar per round. Um, just like a league rule and I I think it's a good league rule. So Noah Fant actually would probably be the better one. Let me withdraw. When I think about like okay, what am I missing on this team? I at times feel a little bit like I'm stuck. I, I don't know. I just feel like I could be running. I feel like I could be running a different offense. I really do. It's just a matter. Oh, where are we? It's hard not to think about Andrew Thomas. I don't need that position. I want, like I said, a, a lot of the bids are going to go for like Mike Evans, Nick Bosa. But like I want... Dexter Lawrence. That that to me would be the biggest one. I'm I'm actually such a low key fan of Dexter. I really like him. Where are we weak? Where could I look at from here? Like how how do I win? I'm always thinking like how do I win a Super Bowl? I'm not worried about being flashy. I I want to win a Super Bowl. How do I win one? When I look at him, I, I think a lot of, when I see Jaden Downs, I think a lot about like the power option game and the Kansas City offense is where my head goes immediately. A two tight end look with TJ and then Addison and Jefferson, a receiver running the ball. I think our defensive line is really weak and could use some help. I think our DBs are a little weak, if I'm being honest. I think 
Our safeties are really good. But that's kind of when I look at this team, I think our line is set. I have I have no I can save because I don't really have to break the budget on all line. You know, it's not that's the thing. The Patriots. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna have to pay him more. Nobody wants T. Higgins. That's always amazes me how little interest. I feel like I win if I get Dory for eleven million. I know we're spending a lot there, but I feel like that's a win. So right now my targeted are Dexter, Dory, and Fant. And I think that would be a huge when I think of players that would come in and immediately make an impact. I think all three of them do. I think Dexter's the one that I'm going to have a little bit more trouble. I'm going to have more trouble getting Dexter. But he does have the high interest level in the team. Which is another reason I'm so interested in him. But I do think, like I said, these three players, I have $100 million, I have a ton of money to spend. Those three players intrigue me the most. Now, we can't get two superstars in a round, so that's why you see everyone only bidding on one. Um, just the rules. A lot of people are going all in on Bosa. I do not blame them for a second. Sneed has a lot of interest as well. I look at Sneed, and I see someone very, very, very similar to... We're going to give this some time. Guys, I am going all in. I want Lawrence, Fant, Adori, and Gidry. I'm going. I'm not losing again, bro. We got to get this team right. We have a superstar quarterback in the making. It. We're no longer in that crazy rebuilding stage. We are in the go all in stage. That's how I'm feeling right now. Um, we're in the go all in stage. So, I'd love, love nothing more than to bring Dexter Lawrence onto this team. I think we'd notice a huge help on our D line. We struggled against the run last year. Really struggled against TSAP against the run, especially in the playoffs. So. He would be a huge, huge, huge help. Oh my gosh. Did we make a splash or did we not make a splash? That is... Oh, I don't think I got him, man. Boom! Let's go! I did! Oh, that makes me so happy. That honestly makes me so happy. That... I know it's not flashy, and that's why he didn't have a ton of, but that brings me more joy than you guys ever can know. He can get pass committed, under pressure, inside stuff. I think that is such a needed move for us and a realistic move that this team needs. We're really weak in the middle. TSAP is not going to have near as much fun running the ball. Um, so as far as my signings, oh, I got Gidry too. Let's go, man. Ooh, Gidry was a big sign. Gidry might start. I honestly did. Gidry, I snuck Gidry. Um, didn't get Dorian, didn't get Noah Fant. But we're still another round. Um, like I said, Joe Burrow, if you see any of the big guys, uh, the Bengals guy, I think he's getting his players back. So the Bengals is getting those two, um, those two guys back in free agency. Did someone, oh my. Of course, someone stole no fan from me. I had a whole idea. I had a whole plan for that. But there's always the draft. If I don't see anybody here, Donald Parham is one of my favorites just for mossing people. Um, why don't I offer him some money? Dexter Lawrence, that's a, that's a, that's a big splash. That That's the type of splash that needed to be made. I love that. I love that. I love that. Man, oh man, he got paid. The guy got, but he's only 26 years old. Like I said, you got, if you get him, you have your defensive tackle for the next 10 years. And like with him and Daniil Hunter working together, I think our overall pressure and ability to get to the quarterback is going to just, it's going to feel different. It's going to feel that much better. So that makes me happy. As far as the draft, we got, we'll talk about that after free agency. Um, but Parham's really the only other person that I'm really interested in. So hopefully we can get Donald Parham. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, 50. Who do I have? Darisaw. Yes. Um, yeah, no, I think you you definitely, a left tackle, you'll probably get a better deal. A good left tackle like him is going to be very expensive. Did I get any of these guys that I wanted? No, I didn't. Okay, well, 
Parham was stolen from us, and my camera's dead. Okay, ladies and I thought I would just, I don't pick until pick 30. I don't have a ton of interest in, um, in trading up in general, uh, but I thought I would just talk here. Um, well, well, let's see who goes pick number one. Okay, most shocking thing I've ever seen, all the people at the beginning had quarterbacks, Arch Manning just went there. That easily the most shocking thing I've ever seen. So I picked at 30 and if I, oh gosh, the, the positions I'm most interested in, um, not that I really want a running back, but like, obviously there's some running backs who intrigue me. The tight end position is, is one that I am, I'm definitely considering drafting not only TJ Hawkinson is kind of near the end, but I would love to run a two tight end set. My favorite one is Deuce Robinson because he has elite speed. So if he were to fall, I think I would get him. And then I would run two tight end sets. I would I would simplify everything and I'd run a lot of two tight end sets. That would kind of be where my head would go. Um, Brandon Innes is there also. I think I'm also a little bit crazy if I start to believe that I don't need more speed. I feel very slow. The team is awesome, but I do feel like the team, from an offensive perspective, at times feels really, really, really slow. This Maurice Garland is an interesting prospect. Um, 6'3", 221 pounds and ran well so like there are interesting prospects in here um and like any of these five eight guys i bet they're just burners like rick potter is, looks like he would just be an absolute burner daniel hood um his speed is decent i'm just gonna look through all of these things and just try and find somebody who i know is going to make the biggest immediate impact um if deuce robinson's there I think it's hard to ignore 6'6", six, six, A catching, A run block with elite speed. I think that's just one of those things that's, that's hard to ignore. It's hard to look at that and not say that is worth a first round pick. I already have two great receivers, but like how important is having someone who could... What TSAP did to me is he just ran man on man, knowing that I had no one on my team who could burn him. So I was left in these positions where I can't burn anybody. So people are just able to run whatever they want against me, knowing that, yes, Jefferson's great, Addis is great, but they're pretty much the exact same receiver. But I also feel like someone like Potter I could get in the second round. So these are the decisions that we get to make at pick 30, and we'll make them as we get close. To me, I love I love big corners. I love big press corners, punch him in the face type corners. This Glenn guy with great speed, a lot of these guys don't even have great speed. So, like... If the top guy has solid, he has great at six foot three. It's hard for me to not look at that and be like a little bit intrigued uh, with him as a prospect with and then go into round two with the hope of getting a tight end in round two. That that's kind of where my head's at. I I do actually feel a little bit like he has a lot of value. If he's there, man, I think I got to take him. He's 6'3", 190. I just, I like big DBs. I like good, big defensive players. Oh, with 6'3", with good speed. I don't think he's going to necessarily be the greatest at some things. But that speed is crazy. Let's cross our fingers. Boom! I love that. I, that is, I was hoping for 92 and above. 92 and above, I was happy. That is a great corner. Oof, his change of direction's nice. His jumping's nice. His agility's nice, which usually means his overall won't be horrible. Hopefully his awareness is closer to B. I think this is a good play. I'm glad I looked. I'm glad I spent that whole time looking because 94 speed, 90 acceleration um, at six foot three. That is, that is scary. That has the potential. One speed upgrade... I'm looking at a 95 speed, 6'3 corner. Oh, that's going to be really nice. Especially because I've been getting egged a decent amount. I don't necessarily know where he fits right now. I think he takes Byron Murphy's spot, if I'm being honest. I think we go Booth, Barnes, him, and then Gidry kind of playing more at the top. I think, it, I think Booth and Barnes 
and then I think he fits in right here. He's right after them. I think that's actually an underrated position of need that we just got a lot faster and a lot more athletic in. So I'm going to do three claps for that. I think that was a good pick. Now, as far as round two, if Deuce Robinson isn't there, maybe there'll be another tight end. It's hard. Oh, and he's gone. So, like, I was right on the value of Deuce Robinson with elite speed. I was there. I was in the, like, in the vicinity of where he probably should have been drafted. Um, dang, I actually would have really liked to get him. But there's other good tight ends, and I'm going to spend a little bit of time looking just to see who else, what other tight ends are um, can play can play some football. So that's probably where I go round two because I, I think I need it to help run my offense. But if it's not there, it's not there, and we figure something else out. Round two, pick 30. We'll see you guys there. But I'm very happy with my first pick. Okay, so <laughs> I don't really know what to do. This Shaquille Ross... Kind of gives me Teddy Freeman vibes. I honestly, I feel like my hands are tied. I feel like I, I need, I need someone with, from Beth Cookman? I honestly don't even know what, comments, where is Beth Cookman? Um, I feel like a lot of these tight ends, I think I could get in the next round. I think I'm going to go for the Beth Cookman kid. Just to give us a little bit of speed on this team. Like, I, I'm not convinced this guy's Megatron. I'm not convinced he's even good. I'm convinced that if TSAP, with now Nick Bosa and Micah Parsons, is pressing me, and his safeties are trying to play the other guys, I'm convinced that this guy is going to be able to run by him. I don't know what his speed is, but I think that there's a chance that Shaquille Roth, given the right situation, could be great. Um, kind of be like Fitzsimmons was on the Ravens. Back everybody up. Make people respect us a little bit more. The kid out of Beth Cookman is... I see you, Shaquille O'Neal. That's exactly what we needed. That, oh my gosh. He's actually better than, way better than I thought he was going to be. 97 speed, 96 acceleration. 5 foot 8, dude. Major Teddy Freeman vibes. But what we need... I honestly think both our rookies have had the same, uh, the exact same, like, you can pick a face for these guys. I think both of our rookies look exactly the same, which is funny, but um, I think these are real people. He can burn. He can burn. And we have no one on this team who can burn. And it's, it's definitely been a big reason why I felt a little bit of lack of success is I just feel like I get stuck, man. I feel like I get stuck. We needed a burner. We got a burner. I got rid of Ragger. We got Addison Jefferson, superstar quarterback in Jaden Daniels. The future is so bright on this team. And we drafted a really, really, really good um, DB who's going to be a starter right away. Round three, we're going tight end. I'm already telling you, we're going tight end. I, I got nothing for you, dude. DeAndre Miller, maybe? Marginal. I really wanted to run a different offense with two tight ends, and I cooked it. I just stupidly cooked it. This guy looks good. Martin Collins? With the next selection, the Cincinnati Bengals. Dude's kind of cold. Dude's kind of cold, okay? Hidden Dev, our first hidden, 83 speed, 91 acceleration. He had a deep route running. That's why I took him, a deep route. I was like, where do I sign? Okay, I think Martin Collins is a win. 6'5", 254. That's a W pick. He's going to start. He's going to play in my two tight end set. This is my favorite part, man. The draft recap. Let's see how we did. See how we did. That's a win. Glenn Harden, a 70. That's actually that's a bit higher than I actually I, than I thought it would be. 74 overall, 6'3", 94. That, honestly, I would have put his value at like pick 15. I think we got a steal. Glenn, Har Glenn Harden... James's brother is going to start. Also, the Beth Cookman kid. Wow, he's better than I thought, too. 70 is not... like I can live with 70. Martin. Oh. What in the... F what in the world? Dude's tr trash. 
But he's probably going to upgrade really fast. He's got a 2,000 XP bar. This dude breathes and goes plus one. Why is... Oh, his blocking is bad, but he's a good pass catcher. Yeah, he's good at catching. I don't know. That's a weird pick. Booker. Eh. This guy is kind of cold. Childress. I don't know if he plays. Kind of cool. John Terry. Wide receiver. Hmm. How tall? Six foot. No. Six foot physical receivers don't make much. Okay, we're going to go through preseason. Um, get these rookies looking like they do IRL. And let's dance. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. The beginning of a new year. It's this is it, man. We got we got to win with the Vikings. We have not. We have um, we've had some ups. We've had some downs. I feel like Roth and Harden's probably the player that I'm most excited about. Adding him on defense, I think is going to be crazy. That 94 speed, the size, um, and then like what can't go understated is Jordan Addison's getting better. Every single week. Jordan Addison's almost getting his second ability. He had a big like takeoff year last year. And he just he just he just went up to 75 overall. Alexander Madison, um, he's been really good. 12,000 XP is his upgrade plus one spin move. Here, one sec. Just, can you just close my door, Matt? Yeah. Oh mom's at uh -huh. Hello. Jaden Daniels is a 75 overall, um, but he's going to continue to upgrade. He's relatively young, still 6,000 XP bar, and him going up to superstar could not have been more crucial. I see so many players on this team that I just, like, I have, like, an immense amount of confidence. And this Martin Collins, just through preseason, got an upgrade. If I throw to him even a little bit, that dude's going to upgrade like crazy, uh, especially because he is hidden. And Andrew Booth Jr., I think... He was the most cheated guy on the team last year. Should have went up to superstar. I pictured him and Barnes both being superstar. Got five picks. Felt like he got a little bit cheated. Um, and Sage Ryan's only going to get better. Sage Ryan's got a 6,000 XP bar. Officially a superstar last year. Guys, this season, we're going to do our official depth chart. I am very excited about this team. Um, we have a new third receiver, a new burner for Jaden Daniels, who I'm going to run a lot of jet sweeps to. Madison's our running back. Kenne might get more than he got last year. Addison and then Roth, dude. Shaquille Roth is going to be our third guy. Those two are main. Oliver, and then not even... I'm, I'm going to give this Martin Collins. I'm going to have him in there as well. Left end, we got Harrison Phillips. Right end, we got Vans. Dexter Lawrence in the middle. Daniil Hunter on one side. Asamoah on the one side. Davenport, who we kept playing the defensive end. On the other side. So Davenport I'm actually going to flip here. Um, House Davenport as we call him. Uh, I'm going to flip so he can play his position. And then DB wise. This is where it's kind of funny. Um, I want him to play on that side. I want Booth Jr. I honestly feel like this Glenn Harden is going to make some crazy plays for us. And a lot of people are going to be like. Are going to underestimate him. And that's what I'm excited for. Um, Gidry, I want as backup safety. So when people try and burn me. Ward, I want him up there as well. Harrison Smith, I want him cheering on the team with a smile on his face. Um, but not even, I don't want him playing. I really, we cannot have him playing. Unfortunately for him, he's just, he's a bit of a liability. Sage, I might put him in the box just for stats with Jay Ward. And then on the top, behind... Behind him, maybe Evans. He's 90 speed. And then kick returner, I want it to be Shaquille Roth. Even though it's probably smarter to not do that, I want it to be Shaquille Roth. And our slot receiver, Jordan Addison. Ladies and gentlemen, the Minnesota Vikings. Year two for franchise QB Jaden Daniels. Week one, going up against the Colts. Let's go. Guy can just hit Roth. Jaden Daniels, dude. The kid, when I say he is one of those players that I am, like, beyond pumped up about, 
I mean it. Like, the burst that Jaden Daniels has is really, really, really noticeable and really, really, really fun. Bynum? Is my depth chart whack or what? Yeah, my depth chart's totally wrong. On third down, here's Richardson. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Richardson now on second down. It's a beam. Not even gonna lie, that's a beam. Good read. Second and goal. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. I want him to test Harden on the left side. I'm. I feel like he's. We're getting really good interior pressure from Lawrence as well. Kalen Barnes. I was about to say. Okay. Offense. I felt all right on the first drive. Um, other than the fumble, we had a really cool run with Jaden Daniels. Fumble really messed it with it, but we're gonna be all right. I promise. Good blocking, guys. Spring Matt. It's got to be Madison's year to become a superstar. He, he's been like teetering on that level of like, oh, is he gonna become a superstar? And it's looked a little bit more like no at times, but he's close. I, I really, really, really like him. Justin Jefferson, nice catch. In case you forgot, he was on my team. Don't forget. Oh my gosh, Ross. Going for it on fourth. Here's Richardson. Uh oh, bro, you're boxed. And that's caught inside the first and ten. Here's Richardson with it. Got a man, and it's complete to Jelani Woods. Operating. Oh, well, you pointed out to me at half. No. That's a decision now. That's a. Oof, I wouldn't want to be making this decision. You got to go for it, but I don't want to be making the play call. Dexter Lawrence, Daniil Hunter in the middle. Richardson on fourth down. That's the rook, man. That's the rookie. Bad hips. Go, Madison. Okay, that's minimum right now we're guaranteed. Do you, man? Good job. Three timeouts. Back to throw. It's not there. We have to take three. We go to OT, fellas. Oh, I. It was an awkward amount of time. If I could do it again, I would do a lot of things very differently on it. I'm short. I'm short of it. One and oh, what a game! Oh my gosh, Jefferson! Oh my gosh, GG's in the chat. Okay, I think I also hit my game day goal, meaning that I'm gonna get some good XP for my DBs, which I'm excited about. Um, Shaquille Roth, Jaden Daniels is getting an upgrade. 
This guy was I thought he was good. He looks small out there. He didn't burn on the one route that I wanted him to as much as I would have liked, but he still I thought he was really good. Um Jaden Daniels continues to just get better. Lewis Seen gets better. I would love him to get a superstar breakup. But guys, that was a stressful week one game. There was nothing simple or easy about that. There was nothing fun about it. That was just that was incredibly stressful. Um, but a win nonetheless. So and all DBs get 4,500 XP. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, week two. This guy always gives us trouble. Um, David. He's he runs a really weird defense. His offense is weird too. It's just a weird every time you play him, you're probably just gonna feel a little bit miserable at the end. Win or lose, you're probably gonna feel that's how I always describe playing David to people. It's like even if I win, it's like, I don't know. It's just felt it's just a we he just plays weird. But not in a bad way, but just in like a way is like, you know what? Like once the game's over, I'm chill, you know? I'm happy. Either way, I'm just happy to be out of the game. If that if that makes any sense. It might not. But I, it's not like I don't have respect for him. I, I do have a lot of respect for him. I think he's a good player. It's just every game, it's just, woof. It's this whole I, range of emotions. Glenn Harden gets an upgrade. This is the one I was excited for. Oh, what is it man-to-man -man or slot that gets the most? He got torched once. Honest. That was, what did I say? Plus one speed and it's GG's. Plus one speed, he's elite. Like, simple as that. Plus one speed. He is a 6'3", 95 speed DB. Love to see it. Okay, week two. Addison did get, you know what? He did have, I think Addison got to 85 overall. He did. Okay. Um, slot AP. Let's go. Okay. Um, week two. Let's go 2-0. Oh. You're gonna be alright, bud. You're gonna be alright, bud, but it is fourth down. So I'm gonna need you to punt or do something, but you're gonna be okay, I promise. Here we go on fourth. Watson. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Toward the back corner. I don't want to see shot fade cross on my field. Let's go, man. Good defense. Need a dot here, fellas. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Addison. That is a athlete. Good job, Addison. As I'm eating lunch, Jaden Daniels, beast. Sorry, bud, but you're... Sorry, kid, you're boxed. Fourth down. On fourth down, Watson. Flush to his right. Nope. And it's... They'll look to throw here. You gotta get the first, though. If he doesn't get the first... Oh, he did. Just barely. That was incredibly close to not actually getting it. I probably had him. Yep, you're good, Jaden. There it is. I probably had Roth. There's just zero point. I don't like first down picks. You lose a lot of games throwing first down picks. So I was in no way going to risk that. Go. Yeah, I think he I think he might be gone. That's five for ninety-four for Jaden. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. That's a beam. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down. Now Watson. Complete to the tight end, Everett. And he's good. Out of the gun, Watson. And he'll 
take it in the, the example right here. Second and 14. What a dot from Jaden Daniels. Good throw. In addition, you probably got a quarterback. It's a nice bonus if he keeps completing passes. So they want to keep throwing. Taking it right down Broadway. Touchdown. Pulls it in at the 13. Give me those. Give me those. Okay, big time win, Jaden Downs. I did throw a pick, but I ran for 89 yards with him. Like, that was an athletic, great performance. Week three. Okay, let's go. Boom! Week four. Bear down. This is our biggest division rival. This is MEQ and his Chicago Bears. Jaden the man, Daniels. Uh, so we had a force win last week. The Niners is user part of the reason why Joey Bo or Nick Bosa was on the way, was uh, left. So we have... That's cold, bro. I went crazy. Holy moly, I went crazy. Okay, so that went really well. Um, I've heard getting 300 yards in the QB check-in is, is, like, quite important. How true that is, I don't know. But I, I have heard through the grapevine that that is something that will help my players develop and, and will essentially produce some type of result. So... Going into week four, I have a Jordan Addison upgrade, which is beautiful. I'll go playmaker with Jordan Addison. Um, he's going to get an upgrade, plus two awareness, plus two spin move. Andrew Booth Jr. gets an upgrade. This will be important. Uh, if he ever does end up becoming a superstar, that will end up being important. Eric Entry, Jaden Daniels gets an upgrade as well, plus one scrambler for the kid. I call him the kid, and that's what they call him. He is the kid, Jaden Daniels. Got to love him. Um... Okay, big week, week four, let's go. Let's see if they can keep this moving. Good job, good job, Harden. I'm waiting for him to start making some plays. I'm optimistic um, that he will, too. Like, I, I, I think it's coming. He hasn't been anything crazy yet, but I, I, think it, I think it is coming. It's two big tackles he's made. Oh, oh! I love him, but I love him. I do love him, but oh, he's got to start making some of those plays. Good job, Lou. Good job. That's his best play as a pro. That's his best play as a pro. Good job, Harden. Okay, find a way, man. These divisional games, you find a way. Divisional games, you find a way. It's the tight end. He wants to throw to his tight end. Good job, Madison. Good run, man. I don't, I don't think I can get 300 yards passing. His first drive took 40 minutes. There we go. They'll set up a throw. Go. Nice decision, Jaden. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. That's a beam, dude. That's a beam to the rookie. Oof, that could have been really sketch too. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. Finding room at midfield. Fields to throw on third and one. He really doesn't want to give me any time, but like he's gonna run out of time on like there to me, you just like I get you're trying to me not get the ball, but like better like I think that's bad clock management. And I'm curious to know your guys' opinion. To me that's brutal clock management because 
right there, yeah, you're trying to prevent me from getting the ball. Congratulations. But you also only got three points, probably. You know what I mean? Like, it just makes no sense to me why you, I think the move there is like, play it. Try and get seven. Give me 12 seconds. I'm not going to score. This way, I could potentially get the ball back and go ahead. Whereas, if you score, I'm... Oh, I think I think you start. You gotta play that more aggressive. That's just me. Though. MEQ has a tendency to man up. Yeah, I got him. Bro, Roth, welcome to the team, my friend. Wow. And a beam from Jane Daniels. We do this, bro. This Viking team is terrifying. If Roth is making catches like like that, we are terrifying. And Daniels, oof, that was a throw. I love this. This is actually not a good spot for him. He might get it, but I don't think he wants to be in that spot. I got him. Spot. I got the spot. Oh my, this is big. Give me those. Give me those! Good play. I still don't think I can get the 300 yards with uh, Jaden Daniels, but we are cooking right now. Yeah, that's brisker. That's brisker. I'm not worried about Brisker. I'm sorry, man. I'm just not worried about Brisker. You better you better pack that. If, you, if you're going to have Brisker one-on-one -on, -one on Roth, ouch. Bean. Hmm. That's insane. The guard cross really like that. It's three claps. That's a beautiful read. Now fields. Damn, nice throw. Okay. Mm. He's got to go for this. Here's fields. And this is caught. They got it. Looking to throw. We're gonna need a dot. Oh, we're gonna need a dot. He might man press you here, Brett. Brutal route combo, Brett. Brutal. Like 10 out of 10, brutal. Back to throw, Fields. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, oh, it's time to figure out this. Um, pay the man his money. Start with this. Yeah, I, I figured I'd start with that. I got to pay TJ Bradbury. Oof, we got some people who need the money. Oh, I'm mad at myself, man. Just not a clutch way to finish a game. There's, there's clutch and then there's that. That was just... I feel like I had multiple opportunities to win that game at the end. I did enough to win, and then I lost, you know? I hate I hate choking games like that, but we got Josh Allen and the Bills, and then we get a rematch against the Bears right away week six. So it's like we don't have to think about it. We can just boom right back at it. Week five, let's go. Hmm. 
<laughs> Screaming at you, Brett. You're gonna have to make a read, kid. Bro, how many plays has Roth made? Got him. Madison. Good fight, Madison. Good fight. Okay. Burnt like chicken. I hope he does not score. I really hope. Oh, you're getting a timeout. You can think about this. Yep. Heads up, Brett. Heads up. Yeah, that's wide open. Heads up. Ooh, five. Go, yeah, you're gone, Ruth. You're gone, Ruth. I saw I saw that from the beginning. And we get ball at half. Freaking Roth. Babe Roth. Oh, I saw it. As soon as I, he kicks me, I'm like, I'm taking that ball out. I I saw a opening gone. Nice catch, Roth. Nice catch. Yep. Should have him here. Yeah. Got him. Okay. That's our MVP. That's, that guy is really good. Like, really, really, really changing this offense. To make, we're just so much more explosive this year than we were last year because of him. Okay, one stop. I think this will be GG's. I don't know who that is, but he's faster than him. Man up that side. And then I'll use the superstar side. Give me those. Give me those. Give me those. Okay. Be smart here, win a game. Be smart, win a game. Go, Jaden. Go, Jaden. It's a big time run from Jaden Daniels. That's our MVP, bro. Love that throw. Big time throw. Okay, it takes the two minute. Feet. He's got it. GG's, bro. GG's. Man, oh, this is okay. First thing I want to kind of look at is our situation with Justin. Now, probably got to offer him this. I got one more chance, or else. Oh gosh, Justin! Like that was a vi that wasn't even a play that was a player friendly deal, and he has interest in playing for us. That's wild to me that he said no to that. Okay. Hmm. What am I thinking here? Okay, well, let's simplify, man. Let's just go win this game. I, I can't worry too much about anything. Let's go look at our stats. I think the craziest stat from this, Jaden's been really good. Like, I don't want to, but like, dude, Shaquille. Like, I really like Shaquille Roth. Major Teddy Freeman rookie season vibes. Getting a lot of production from the other guys, too, but like, he's been unreal. Um, interception numbers are down. Sack numbers are weird, as always, but... And I think the numbers for TFLs, like DeMarcus had three in one game. And he has been really phenomenal. So don't want to lose that. Guys, the rematch against the Bears. Let's go. Let's go, Madison. Good read, Brett. That's a step up in the pocket dot. Nice throw. Good throw, Jaden. Yep. 
theme. Hey, did I? Are we cool, MEQ? Like, ooh, he's hitting right now. It's a great read. 10 out of 10 read. Big time play, big time player. Why is that? I gotta have matching zones on because I promise I have a 15 on that side. I promise I have a. If there, am I matching? Pass coming. I need pressure. Harden. What a play. Blood is boiling. Blood is absolutely boiling. No joke. Oh my. I was about to say, if Fleming would have caught that dude, I would have been throwing this controller about as far as it would let me. Oh my gosh. Why can I never run against MEQ? It's so bizarre. No superstar lineman spreading his D line still cannot run to save my life. It's a good dot. Got him again with that same play. Hurry it up. Don't freaking sell another game, Brat. You get ball at half, too, man. Time out. Okay, I'm taking three. No, nothing stupid. Don't be cocky. Don't be selfish. Don't be... Jefferson's tired. Daniels is now tired. Everyone's tired. Take your points. Make the right decision. Addison, please. Addison, please. Nice catch, Addison. I might just go back that he really has always struggled to guard that. Honestly, that's not a new thing. Roth, he's close. He's so close to it. You got it. Harden, dude, I love this guy. Harden, dude, I love this guy. He's gonna be a corner on my team for a long time. But he has no skills when it comes to intercepting the ball. He's been brutal with that. Nope. You're out. He's probably going to take three, but he should... No, he's probably going to go for it, is what I meant to say. But he's going to he's gonna take... No, he's probably going to... Oh, what am I even saying? He's so fast too. Problem is, I'm I'm down three, fellas. I'm down three, or I'm down four. I a three doesn't three does nothing. Explain to me why that guy always. I can't run against him. It's bizarre against Dollar. I can't run. I promise you, I can't, or else I would. Try and score, Brett. There it is. Okay. He's going to have one timeout, full field. 
Wouldn't bet against him. I promise you I would not bet against him. I should have iced that. Why wouldn't I ice that? That was a weird angle too. Beam. Like, I don't know if it's just, like, he literally makes the tackle every single time. I, I don't know what else to do about that. It's bizarre to me, but he does. Every time he makes the tackle. Go Billy. Billy Madison. Good run. Okay, I'm going to throw here. Need it. Need it, bro. Need it. That's the win right there because he can't. What a game from Jaden. That That's the win. As long as I make the kick, that's the win. I'm going to still run and try and get it running the ball, but as long as I make the kick, I think we just got the big victory. Got it. I thought I missed it. Oh, my gosh. Did you see what I... This division? You're not going to win it that easy, Mech. Let's go. Big time win. Every time you play him, he plays the same defense every play pretty well. So it's it's like it limits the things you can do. Um, it's just – it's not necessarily not fun to play against, but it's not fun to play against because there's no like – it's just the same 20 different – and they're good adjustments. I'm not even – even I'm not dissing. They're good adjustments, but it's the same DB fire too. You can't run a lot of stuff against it, but then the stuff I do run against, it works well, so I have to just run it. Guys! Boom, we back, fellas. Oh, week 10. Like I said, I had a force win. I don't think we have a ton of force wins um, for the end of this, but it is what it is. Dude, we're year three. I'm happy with it. Jalen, pay the bills, man. Jade, not Jaden Mills or Davis Mills. I don't know. I was about to say Jaden, pay the bills, Mills. And then I was like, oh, Brett, I forgot. You're, you're not. You are smart. Um, Jaden Daniels gets an upgrade. He's going to go up to an 80 overall. Um, plus one throw on the run. Plus three short. Ed Ingram, Jay Ward, Kalen Barnes. Um, guys, we're going up against the t Titans this week. We got the Titans. Um, we're currently tied for the Division League. As I know, like I said, we the nice thing is he didn't beat me twice. So that's not all necessarily going to go with We do have TSAP Week 13, who I believe is the one seed currently. Um, and undefeated. His team is... Oh, he's 5-3. and three. Okay, that's good to hear. Um, let's go. Uh-oh. What in the world? I I saw nobody was open and I just picked a. I'm not gonna even pretend. I just picked a random button. I that was the worst throw I've ever thrown in my life. Oh my gosh! I don't even want to think about that throw. Oh my. Gosh, that was a, I literally, that was a brain just, I think my brain, that was a true, nothing was going on. I thought Roth was going to be open because it was man, but it was Caleb Farley. So Farley boxed up Roth. Oh my, okay. Second shot here, my gosh. Go Jay, go Jay. Heads up. Heads up, that's a good run. That that's he, he's in the he's in contention for MVP right now. I just I want to mention that he is in contention currently as we speak for MVP. Oh, and he's gone again. Good run, Daniels. Good play, Barnes. Good play, Barnes. It all, hey, one defensive stop, my mistake, doesn't matter. That's, all, that's the only way to think about this. One defensive stop, my mistake, has no weight on this game. 
Good try, Harden. Man, he's a stud, though. Like, when you think he's 95 speed at 6'3", like, the potential, no picks on the season, but the potential is there for Harden. Like, dude could become very, very, very legit. But I, I, wanna, I just want him to get a pick. Good job, Dexter. I'm not confident. Oh. It's actually a... Wow. That's an effort. Oh, my gosh. That was actually a really good read by him. To throw a baby out row like that. I, I was inside shading because I wasn't expecting, like, there wasn't any corner row. But to throw an out row... Dang, okay. Oh, Jaden, we got to be great today, kid. We got to be great. Yeah, I got him. That, that, oh, I bit my tongue. I bit my tongue. Oh, God. I can't, man. Yo, I can't live in a world where that's a completion. I can't be a part of it. I can't be a part of that. Come on. Yo, I I vote like what? I love Chagosium as much as but like what in the world is going on here? Like I gotta blink because my eyes are just not believing like he's mossed me like six times. Give me those. Don't be a safety. It's a safety. Oh, wow, Jay Ward. Good job, Jaden Daniels. Okay. This is where we relax. Every mistake we've made so far has no importance. Or no weight on me. Money drive on me. I don't have to win the game here. The seven gives me a really good chance. And Addison's been open all game. I just need to start throwing that. It's just open. There's no, there's nothing about it. I know it's the same route that I just threw, but it's open, so. Three does nothing here. Three does nothing. I'm willing to run here and just. I want to take time off the clock. But, like, that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is seeing seven points at the end of the drive. It would be easy to think that I would rather take all the time, but I, the time doesn't matter if it's a tie game. It's we got to either win. So, on all these plays, I'm trying to score. No joke. 100%, we're trying to get in the end zone right here. Jetta's probably best case Ontario. Okay. He's got a full field. I have pass committed on Daniil Hunter, so hopefully he can take over. He's got a full field, two timeouts. If he gets seven, shake hands, but I've done all I can. Money drive, Addison, love it. The amount of ridiculousness that went on in this game, I I made mistakes, don't get me wrong, but the amount of just wild throws that were made, like, 
I just felt like all game he got some of the most ridiculous catches that I've ever seen in my life. And I'll, I'll stand by that. I really, really, really felt like all game it was just bizarre catches from Tregosium. I'll take the loss. It is what it is, but gotta clean some things up. That was not good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm not gonna pretend I'm not mad. But I'm going to get I'm gonna get revenge. That's as simple as I can put this. I'm not gonna say I'm not mad. I'm not gonna look at you. I'm Brent, I'm not mad. I'm mad. I'm really upset. But at the end of the day, it's the way the cookie crumbled. Um Dude money drived me and just did everything he could and won. Like what else what else do I say? That was in a way that was really uh really impressive. So we shake hands, we say good game, um, and we move on, and we we try and we try and fix a season that just got just took a bump in the road, but it's not necessarily over. We got the Packers now. I got to focus because now I'm going up against a Packers team that is very talented, uh, a good player. It's a new it's a new player. The other guy is no longer in the league, but I'm going up against a Packers team that I gotta. I definitely. It's no layup, and the Cardinals next week are also very good. And then I got the t -sep. So, like, I could lose three games in a row. If I don't get it together, if I don't smooth things out, we could lose a lot of games in a row. Let's make better reads, no picks, win a game. Start on the with Billy, go, 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 go. Good cut, Madison. Okay. Win some games. Win some games. Get back. Get our swag back. Okay, no comment. Let's go. Ooh, I'm upset though. I'm upset. Go. Good run, Jaden. Good run. Good user. Take the mittens off. Oh, that was Sketchville, man. I should not I should have not have thrown that. I'll own it. Between me and you guys, that was a horrible read. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Oh no. Ooh, what? Feet, kid. Oh, your feet. Oh, I'm mad about that one. That, that one I feel a little cheated on. Oh, gosh. Simple. He, he messed up something. Something, man. He messed up something. TJ was, well, I don't know if he didn't expect me to put him on a route, expect me to block him. Either way, tough. That is... I don't know who you are, what you got, as long as you love me. Oh my, that was a really cool route. I'm moderately jealous. As long as you love me. Test him. I, I just want him to throw at Harden, man. I really want him to throw at Harden. Harden. Meanwhile, also Harden, just out to freaking lunch. Oh, man, the rookie corner blues. Okay, don't make this a pattern, bro. Don't lose two in a row. Win a game. Win a game. Dude, maybe I got to stop, stop putting Harden in those spots on the number one receiver. Yeah, yeah. It makes, it makes logical sense to not put 
your rookie DB on the... But I want him to get picks, but I'm also getting just torched. There we go. Huge loot. Oh my gosh, that's so big time. Okay, I know he's going to Christian Watson. I have to... Like, if I don't have double coverage on Christian Watson... Sage Ryan is getting crazy stats and getting a lot of upgrades. That's exactly what I want. So then hopefully he can play a true safety soon. Um, with two different and all the best abilities. Just double him, honestly. Thank gosh. I doubled him with a 95 and a 96 speed receiver, and he ran directly by them. Come here. You're going to be all right, bud. You're going to be all right. Let's go, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. He's going to run this, even though it's crazy. Even though that's a bit of a risky business move. I did not feel comfortable throwing Madison. Touchdown, plus seven, one stop, GG's. Let's go, man. One stop, Minnesota, one stop. Lewis seen it. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, Todd, your first pick. Could have been a fumble, did not see that guy. Harden gets his, dude, he's got no ball skills. Like, it's just so blatantly obvious. Even I feel like he caught that one three times. Such a book. Read it and weep, fellas. Good run, Madison. Good read, good read, good read. Come here. Come here. GG's, man. GG's. GG's, GG's, GG's. Ah, uh, he's quitting out. Okay. Hey, big time win. Honestly, that, that's a six and four opponent. That's just, that's clean, good, fundamental football. We win the game. Love it. What? Okay. He had a really, oh, we got a breakout. Deep. He had a really good game. Um, Don't get me wrong. He had a really good game. How many pass breakups did he have? Now that I think of it, I feel like he had a couple pass breakups. Um... Interceptions. If it's him, I'm gonna freak out because like him going to Star Dev, that's a top five pick. If he's if if, if he goes to Star Dev, he is a he's a top five pick in the draft in terms of size, speed, everything. That was an absolute steal that we got. Uh, this guy actually runs the ball a lot, so I think this could be good for us. Um, oh man, okay. I'm pumped about this. Cardinals week. Let's go. Typical Tuesday in this particular franchise. It's been a it's been a big, big, big problem in this one. Good job, Jello. That was actually a really smart throw. Situationally, that was a really smart throw. They'll try and throw for it here. Beam, good throw, Jaden, good throw. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Beam, beam city. Oh my, just as he gave up on that, I threw it. The second he gave up on it, boom, out of my hand. Dot, seven up. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Flushed out right. Look at late breakup. Guess who? I don't know if that I don't know if that counts. I'm not, but like as long as I hold him under 200 passing yards, 200 passing yards is my main goal of the entire thing because as long as he's under 200, he's going up to star dev, and that means a lot to me. So I know where you want to throw this, but I'm not I'm not dumb. I know you want to test that left side. That's smart. I thought I thought he was maybe going drive corner. That, that was a good quick out. I had put um, I had put twenty five in a deep blue, so that that was the right that was the right thing to do. Oh, 
option right is Wilson. On second and inches, Murray. And complete to Zach Ertz. Again, they'll throw with Murray. Ah, I looked the other way. I was dumb. I, I looked the other way. Give me those. Give me those. Give me those. Give me those. 15 seconds and a dream. Oh my, Booth Jr. Well done, bro. Well done to Booth Jr. My gosh, that's huge. He just ran the route for him. Like there, there's no, there's no other way to put that. He he, 100% ran that route for him. I'm gonna draw this because. My fear is he passes every play. So he's at 97. He needs 107. I think if he were to get this touchdown, I think if I scored again, I'd onside kick. And bank on hopefully. Oh, that's a good read. Those are really good reads. Yeah, I got to be careful here because... He is dangerously close right now to getting that 200. He's at 145 through the air. I think if I get ball here, I'm going to try and end this game. I'm going to try and chew clock. Very weird energy. Uh, but I'm going to try and chew clock and win with a field goal. If he scores here. Don't fumble. Don't fumble. Good run, Jaden. Like I said, the the goal here, I'm trying to get star dev on my DB. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little bit of clock from the guy. Oh, kind of feel bad about it. I think I have a touchdown if I want it. Do I want it? I probably should. Oh, I'm playing stupid games, man. I'm playing stupid games. I'm gonna get stupid prizes. I just want him to be a superstar so bad. Huge catch. Huge, huge, huge catch. On third down, he'll drop the throw. And oh, that's gonna wind up. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. And that is Yeah, I played myself. The Vikings unable to convert here on Ford. And this Yo. Oh, see I every time I play for a breakout, man, this happens. Every time. Without fail that I play for a breakout, this happens to me. Just stupid, Brad. So dumb. So dumb. So dumb. The nice thing is, I unless he passes for every single one of these yards, we're going to get it, but... At what cost, dude? It's so hard to hold someone under 200 passing yards in this game. At what cost? Come here, bud. Boom! That's a box, man! Okay. Okay, we might actually be able to... Crazy enough, sneak away with the win and the breakout here. As long as I can get three, I can get in field goal range. I think I will get the win. And the breakout I have. Good job, Jada. He's still got three timeouts as the crazy. End it, Jaden. End it, end it, end it. Don't let him scream. How much is he screaming? It's a beam. It's a beam. Okay, field goal wins it, fellas. Executed to perfection, guys. Not necessarily the most pretty game you'll ever see. Daniels played good. But we held under 200. I had to play a certain way. He, as soon as I realized he passed every single play, I knew 
that my percent chance of like getting the breakout was incredibly low. I gotta go do this before they sim on me here, um, because I was, I was the last game, but huge, 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 just for the entire season in general. 5,000 XP, he's now starred out. So if I can get, uh, like, match a couple breakouts with him, you could potentially be looking at a future superstar. I'm not saying you are looking at a potential superstar, but I'm saying it, the the potential is there now. He's no longer a bronze. He's star development. He's going to upgrade faster. Everything. And now he's a 6'3", 95 speed DB. Unbelievable. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, week 13, we'll see you there. Okay, ladies and playoff picture is here. Um... One seed is, we're currently the five seed, which is a very interesting spot. So if you lose the division, which pff, MEQ is not lost, but this is the game that I, I want to like key in on and show you guys his team because this is a squad. So he's got X Factor, Dak Prescott. He's got Michael Gallup, CD Lamb, Quez Watkins, but the real, he's got a superstar tight end. The real issue with his team, bro. Like, it's the, it's the best team in the game by far. He's made them, and it's honestly, credit to him, but I know exactly what he's going to do, but it's, does I, can I move? Like, I can't just pass against those two guys. Oh, it's, uh, he says built a squad here. I'll, I'll give him 100% credit. He's done a good job with this Cowboys team, but my job is to beat him and kill his confidence. If I don't beat him and kill his confidence, who's going to kill T-Sap's confidence? Someone has to kill his confidence, and I want it to be me. Um, it's a big time game, just lots of importance in general, um, season seating, everything wise. Like, I think you could look at this probably at the end of the year and it's probably going to dictate a lot of who we play in our first round playoff matchups and stuff like that. So can't underestimate the importance of this game, but also I can't be nervous. There's no reason to be nervous. It's a regular season game, but let's just try and do everything we can to get the win. Playoffs is not guaranteed for us. We got a couple really tough games coming up as well. So I don't know exactly how to play him. I know Quez is going to be a problem, but tail the tape. Let's just go in. Good defense. Good defense, guys. Good defense. Dang, man. Oh, I had him on third and 22. Bugs me. They'll throw again. Prescott. Left side to Lamb. Touchdown, Cowboys. Hmm. Good run, Jaden. Good run, Jaden. If he's he's gonna pass him in every play, and he's gonna run the same coverage every play. So I don't think it's necessarily the worst decision that I have. To think about the QB draw, just to get, because I got Nick Bosa and Parsons to worry about. Like, those are not people that I want to be worried about. That's a dangerous crew. Yeah, that's not good. That's not a good showing. Oh my gosh. No. Okay, he's going to probably... Yeah, he's taking three. Okay, I got to run the ball better. That was a poor offensive performance. Getting getting to third down, then getting to fourth down. Everything about that was brutal. Oh, shoot. Okay, offense, let's go play. Nice job. Go Madison, good run. You gotta run against this. It's dollar every play. It's dollar and it's like, it's similar stuff, but it's dollar pass committed every play. Job Daniels. Okay, we're at least in field goal range right now, and you gotta remember we do we do get ball at half.
Good job, Jaden. It's a bounce back drive, man. Nothing too fancy. I just ran. I, I did what I knew that I needed to do against the way that he plays this game. So we'll take that. We get ball at half, too. So if I can score again at half, we, we got a chance to go up. I just put myself in bad situations like if you if I can't stop them if I if I can't stop them before half and I play scared defense like I did I don't, I don't deserve to win you know like there's, there's no part of me that feels like I deserve to win that was a lurk dang 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 He's short, but how much does it matter? If I stopped him, I would have a chance. Just dumb decisions. How did I allow that on the fourth down? That's what I think is just so ridiculous. Bad game. Bad, bad, bad game. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, that was a, like I said, that was a dumpster fire. I I played horrible. I have to find a way. I'm going to go very player friendly. Um, I have to find a way to beat TSAP with the team that he has. Beating TSAP, that's not a, we've beat TSAP. But like with this team, he, he literally watched that back. He played man defense, man press, every play, and... I just freaking couldn't move. I was ready to punch something. Um, but the next time we play, I would run probably my Kansas City scheme and cross my fingers um, that hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that we can have a little bit of success in getting stuff. But I can't worry about him right now. I got to worry about the games in front of me. This Jags game, um, eight and four, this is Nick Young. Dude plays weird. He's Dude plays weird. Dude's weird. Weird. Everything about it. This, no, he's a good guy-ish ish but he just this is this is the only way he'll win like look at look at he's got 96 speeds all of them 98 97 the, the sad thing about nick young and this is why i think in the chat we want to give a hashtag nick young we all feel kind of bad for nick young because he's played in like 20 or probably 60 seasons and never won a super bowl that's got a way on him so give a hashtag nick young in the chat three claps for him honestly he is the most improved big locker room guy um, and we got to beat him today. So let's go. Come here. Give me those. Good job. Nice catch, Roth. Nice catch, Roth. Go. Good job, Kenny. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, defense, let's go do exactly what we did that first drive. Get off the field, we're going to be fine. Good defense. That's four. Sorry, bud. I just don't know where you're going with that. Sorry, bud. Sorry. Sorry. Good run. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Uh, we'll take three. Oh, defense is playing well. Let's take three. Okay, we do get ball at half. Let's just go score here. Shoot, man. Oh, I gotta be better. 
He'll try again with the arm here on Why on earth did I throw that? Oh, why on earth did I throw that? Nice throw. Okay, we're still in this. Definitely made life a little more difficult on myself, but um, we're definitely still in this. Go, go, Jaden. Let's go, man. He's got like 80 yards this game. That was clutch. That was mighty clutch. No way. I've seen it all. I've seen it all. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I have seen it all. Bro. Got him. Let's go. Kenny might be the starter, dude. Kenny might be the starter. Kenny might be the starter. Okay. That speed does make a little bit of a difference. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I don't understand how that happens. I like, I quite honestly, that is so ridiculous. I'm, I don't know what else to do about that. Like I put two people on him. Good read, good read, good read, good read. Okay, get seven here. Beam. Good throw, good throw, good throw, good throw. Okay, we gotta be smart here, man. We gotta be smart. We gotta take a little bit of the clock. Jump, can I? Okay. 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 Good job, Addison. Good job, Addison. Okay, seven wins it. Okay. Well, I think we got a good chance to get to score. But I'm not overly confident in my ability to stop him. That's that's been the issue all game. It's he's just able to throw up these ridiculous streaks that I I can't stop. I really can't stop. Bye. GG's guys. GG's 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 GG's. Let's. Freaking go! That's a win. I needed that so bad. I was str the TSAB game got in my head. Okay, week 15, Packers week. One seed's probably locked up by the Bears, but hey, that I give that a 10 out of 10 on the win scale. We really battled. Okay, so going up against the Packers, this is probably the Packers' last chance. They're potentially out of the playoffs. Jane Daniels is about to get an upgrade. Just oh, I just don't know what to run, man. If I'm if I'm just keeping this. 100% with you all. I genuinely do not know what to run. 
and I, I don't feel good in a lot of things. I feel like it's just my offense is messy. You know, there's just like this level of like, there's this part of me that just doesn't really know what to do in a lot of these situations, and I'll own it. I feel like, I feel like this franchise is one that I'm I'm drowning a little bit because I just don't. I'm not confident that in the playoffs I have the scheme to win. But I'm gonna keep trying to win. But who knows? This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. Now a crease here as he's past the thirty. I like this guy. I like him. I like him a lot. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Get to throw now. Here's Love. He's going to launch this. I put his own there. Good job, Harden. I put his own there. Good job. Hey, what? If it's man up, he's in trouble. Guys, I want to run this with freaking Jaden Daniels. I know it's super dumb but i actually have the kind of the receivers i don't know would you rather see me lose playing like this or lose playing like a champ i don't know i want to run freaking qb rap let's go let's run it don't at me let's go it's a good read it's a really good read i like that a lot i like that a lot uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think someone just got toasted. Good job. This is way more fun. I like this offense a, a lot more, man. I like this offense a lot more so far. This is the most fun I've had in a little bit. Go. Go, Jaden. Yep, that's a touchdown. Simple, simple, simple. Bro, stop the cap. Stop the cap. My gosh. That's a horrible read. I, I can't co-sign that read. I can't co-sign that. No. No co-signing. That was brutal. That's a beam. Madison. Madison, Wisconsin. Madison, Wisconsin, right in the middle of the zone. Okay. Oh, we're buzzing now. This is better. Way, way, way better. Now they get the short week for the Thursday night game. Do you see that as a potential positive or is this just They'll go option on second? Love that. I've benefited though. So I can't be mad because I have benefited from that same weird animation. But I am a little mad. Oh no. Roth, I knew you were like that. I didn't know you were like that. You're going to burn Jair Alexander at his home. Heads up. Madison. Beauty. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's the GG's in the chat. GG's. I don't know where we're at playoff. As long as I'm not playing Taylor, man. I. Oh, in this league, his team is freaking cold. Cold, 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 cold. And I could be, like, low key. I don't hate the Seahawks matchup. I play the Seahawks week 18. I don't hate that matchup at all. So that could be our first round matchup. I know I have a couple force wins in a row. We don't have a Rams user and the Lions has quit. So like as always at the end of the year, guys, we're going to see you in week 18. So we got a little bit of a time jump here. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, boom, we had our double sim. Uh, stats were actually horrible in those two. I was crossing my fingers they would be a little better. Like I said, we are year three. Uh, so I do apologize. I and mean, people just don't. 
Like, I love when Jaden Daniels just absolutely sucks in a, um, just plays horrible in a game. I was about to say, I love when Jaden Daniels plays absolutely horrible in a game that I'm supposed to win. Madden literally is saying, take the win. It should be decent stat. It's not my fault my opponent can't play me. It's like I'm getting punished with three picks. My MVP year is chalked, by the way. I'll show you guys the stats after this game, but my MVP season is absolutely chalked. There's no point in even talking about my MVP year. It's not an MVP year. There's nothing MVP about it. Um, plus one throw on the run. We're almost up to 85, which is what I've been waiting for with him. Um, I guess slot upgrade with Glenn Harden, which is awesome. He's going to go up to a 77 overall, plus one zone coverage. Jay Ward, Alexander Madison, and Jordan Madison. Finish off the season. Let's go beat the Seahawks. Let's go. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I thought this game was happening. Um, this guy's not here either, Micah. Uh, I think he is a dad, so I think it's something came up. But that means we don't have a game here either, which means we're going to the playoff. Weird, 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 weird. Like I said, it won't happen. I apologize. Um, this gives me a little bit of time to reflect on this season uh, before we go into the playoffs. I, I was at one point the MVP favorite at week eight, and we fell off a cliff, MVP-wise. We fell off an absolute cliff, and we won, that's sick. We won Offensive Rookie of the Year, and we were third for defense. I like that a lot. Um, we just fell off a cliff in terms of just everything. I just felt like passing, my rhythm, nothing was there at the end of the season, but I think we're playing the Cardinals um, in the first round of the playoffs. I don't know. Like I said, I apologize for this. We are going right to the playoffs. It's time for the bull run. Four runs for a bull. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boom! Playoffs! What? I know. You're thinking the exact same thing I have. I don't know if I've already talked about this, but I'm going to probably splice it up because I thought I had a Seahawks game, and the Seahawks wasn't there. And then I thought I had a Rams, like Rams or CPU. All these guys couldn't play or didn't play uh, because they're not in the playoffs. I apologize for that. Um, I can't force people to play when they're not in the playoffs. It is what it is, but it means, guys, we're in the dance. So I gotta shut up and dance, and we are in the dance, so it's time to shut up and dance. Um, Jaden just had horrible stats in all these. I think the only like really good thing that happened in this whole thing was that, um, and I'm gonna look at yearly awards, and we're gonna look at everything. Just so I can kind of show you guys where everything's at. Um, offensive player of the year. Yeah, boom. Shaquille Roth won, and then Glenn Harden was actually third for defense. Guys, it was a messy season for the kid. Not even gonna pretend, not gonna pretend like it wasn't. A little bit messy. We ran well. Um, defensively, it was a weird year. Daniil played good. Sage was good. Glenn Harden, but like honestly. This season was just summed up in, like, if I could sum this up in one word, it'd be just average. Average. And, like, sometimes those are the seasons, man. Like, I've been doing this a long time. Sometimes those are the seasons that you shock yourself. And in the playoffs, you go and win that bowl. Because sometimes it's not the seasons where everything feels so perfect. It's the seasons where everything doesn't feel perfect. Everything feels horrible. You feel, it's just, your decision making's messy. Everything's messy. We have the Cardinals week number one. Um, well, in the, in the wild card. Now, the Cardinals gave us a tough game. I'm not going to pretend like they didn't. Let's go look at their roster. Kyler Murray, um, Hollywood Brown. The speed was really messing with me, but I found his defense didn't impress me as much. He has speed, but nothing crazy. We can throw the ball. We can do great things. Guys, playoffs, wild card. Let's go. Come on, Addison. Make a read, Brett. Make a read, Brett. There it is. Ooh, okay. Who's this DB over there on Roth? Bro. Why are we... Why are we sledding? Why is this so bad? Okay, I gotta get into a rhythm, man, or else I am going to be going home. Nice catch, Tej. Nice catch. Oh, that's so crucial. It's not even funny. I'm not even laughing because that was so crucial. Oh, my goodness. There he is. There it is. There we go. Jaden, get some rhythm, guys. Get some rhythm. 
Oh my gosh. Go, Billy. Good run, Billy. Okay. Billy Madison. I know I know his name. I'm I'm quoting something. Everyone's gonna be like, oh, you know, it's it's not Billy. Like I know. Lock in, we're at lock in. This has gotta be the year. Oh, I love that, man. That's just trust. That That's trusting your best players to be best players. Madison, Wisconsin. Let's go. Okay. All good, man. We're all good. Give me those. Give me those! Get lurked, man. Get lurked on the first play of the freaking game. Get lurked. Lewis seen it, man. Lewis seen it from the start. Lewis seen it from the start. Okay. Oh, just be smart, Brad. Be smart. Oh, he's on his D line, man. He's on his D line, man. Yeah, that's Addison all day. Caught him on his D line. That's what he usually uses. Okay, 14 nothing. One more stop. 14 nothing. One more stop. We've been here before, though. It's all. It's about. We gotta win four. It's not about winning one game. It's not about winning the wild card. You win four games. Four games. Jaden Daniels on the podium. All it takes. Four wins. He's on the podium. Time out. I can't let him get into a rhythm. I gotta make sure. I gotta make sure I'm always in the right defense here. Get him. Good job. What about man? I lurked him on that first play, but that's not to say that I'm going to be just walking around with stops all game. Like, this, he clearly is in the playoffs. He clearly can move the ball. Here's Murray. Fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. Touchdown, Cardinals. A great play. Freaking A, man. Good play. Good play. Okay, just keep scoring. Don't stress. Just keep scoring. Definitely have made a few mistakes to this point that I'm uh, done a couple things that I'm, I think we're a little stupid. I have. Go, go, Addison. Nice catch, Addison. Simple football. He gets ball at half. I'm trying to think of how to play this. Because he gets ball at half, I feel as though I gotta take the clock down here. It would just be smart. It would just, honestly, it would just be smart. Beast. It's just because if I take it to the two, he's only has one timeout left. So technically, by running a few times, I could go up 10. He has ball, and I still think that is a better position than, a, well, than giving him time to go plus seven in a stress-free kind of environment. I didn't want to get the first down. I wanted to just, mm. In an ideal world, I would have gotten like nine yards right there, saved the downs. We're going we're gonna to take some time from him. I'm going to make him at least have to think about using... I just want to at least have to think about using that timeout. Got him. The kid, man. Hey, I'm finally utilizing him as I should be. As a runner, man. As a really good passer, but also utilizing how athletic he is. 21-7, he's got one timeout. Daniil Hunter, solo rushes on that left side. 
get a stop, get a stop after half. This is GG's. We're shaking hands. And then he did any throws a bean. Play fake. Murray. Now on the run, he'll Ward. back deep over the middle. And this is caught inside the five. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout. I'm gonna try not to freak out, man. I'm gonna try I'm I'm not doing a great job, but I'm trying not to freak out. That's two picks. That's two picks that the guy has thrown on this drive. The first one was worse than that. And then we get scored. And now he's back in it, man. Now he now he's seven and we're tied up. Bro, there's no chance. No chance he gets away with both of those. Like one of them. The first one was brutal. And then Okay. I guess we dance now. Okay, I can just focus on one thing getting stopped. Oh my goodness. I'm frustrated. I'm annoyed. I'm in a lot of things right now, but I can either let it get to me and lose the game or I can just lock in, know that I'm the better player and do enough to win. It shouldn't. Oh my gosh. Don't let it bother me too much. Please, 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 please. Oh, I'm gonna freak out. I'm about to freak out. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pretend I'm not. I'm about to lose it. I'm about to lose my mind. And then he's got the tight end, of course he does. That's big time, Danielle. That's big time. Thank gosh, nice pick. Um, how crazy am I? I don't know, man. How crazy am I? This is about the most wild go for it you'll ever see. It might. You're not gonna see a lot of go for it's like this. This one's gonna make your head scratch a little bit. That is my quarterback. Oh my gosh, you may have just saved the season, kid. Oh my gosh. I bashed the dude, but he is... I bashed the dude, but he is a second option. My gosh, he is playing lights out. Okay, three probably wins this for us. Just don't get stopped here, Brett. Make sure at all costs that you get at least in field goal range. Oh, you might be gone, kid. No. Did I, did I click? I'm wondering if I clicked weird there. That was an open receiver too, wasn't it? That was, oh my gosh. Dude, if he's pressing Roth, do I go up to Roth? Part of me thinks I do. When I say that kid is freaking clutch, oh my gosh, that kid is clutch. Okay, I just want this to get us to 40 to the two minute warning. It won't, but I, I, that would be an ideal world. Run Madison. I'm content here, man. I'm content with running the ball. As crazy as this is, I'm completely content running the ball. 
just for the 40 second reason and for the two scores reason. There's two reasons why I am 100% A-OK running the ball here. One, when I take this field goal and I, I run the clock down, it's going to be... He's going to have about a minute and ten to get two possessions back. He probably won't be able to score without using a timeout, even if I'm in 3 deep. This should guarantee the win. Addison honestly deserves player of the game. I thought we, we were a little bit cheated a little bit on defense, which is part of the reason I'm so a little bit tilted at the moment. But as long as we make it through the round, um, doesn't matter how you get here. Doesn't matter if you feel cheated. Nothing, none of that matters. Just matters that you win. So, and I think we're going to win. Fine inbounds. Yes, sir, Mullen. Yes, sir, Officer Mullins. Name the movie. Okay. Harden. GG, ladies and gentlemen. That, hey, we did what we, we, it wasn't pretty. It had a great beginning, not a great ending. It was not pretty at all. But at the end of the day, we're victorious. And that's all I care about. I'm All I care about this season is winning. Sick of losing with this team. I believe in this team. I believe in Jaden Daniels. And we're moving on. I don't know who we're going to play. Um, we're the first game done. So we're either going to be playing the Cowboys or the Commanders or Atlanta or the Saints. One of those teams. Who knows? All I know is book my ticket. The division. Guys. Hey, you get re redemption, man. I pfft. Oh my gosh, this is it. I don't I don't think we can ask for much more than this. I, I really don't. We got a chance here to shock the world. We got a chance to stop shock you. We got a chance to shock everybody. And we got a rematch against TSAP and his absolute year three super team. Whole chat's doubting me, man. I it, the whole chat. Nobody believes in me for this game. I everybody it's a write-off. Everyone just thinks TSAP's got the best team, blah, 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 blah. You know what? I'm going to take a risk because, like, obviously, I just got plus one speed with Jordan Addison. I'm going to take a risk because the dude has... I'm going to run the QB rap playbook that we just ran. The bunch QB rap. I'm going to run a lot of that stuff because he has the best team. Like, he's got Quez. He got in free agency. Micah, like, these two are the two best edge rushers in the league. Like, I can't... And then he's got a 99 overall defensive tackle, Mozzie Smith. And then he also, I believe he has a superstar, two superstar, 94 speed plus DBs. Like, if I go in here and I just try and throw the ball every single play, guys, I, I can't. He's got X-Factor, Dak Prescott. Nobody believes in me. But you know what? Sometimes... It's in those moments where I shine. I'm not afraid of you, TSAP. I'll never be afraid. I I will never be afraid. And I have a chance if I win this game to go, I can go beat the Saints, man. I would love to beat the Saints. Nothing would bring me more joy. Maybe I won't. Maybe I, maybe I do lose this. But I promise you, this is going to be a fight for the ages. Jaden Daniels, QB rap, Baltimore playbook. I'm not afraid of you, bro. And I never will be. Lock up on defense. Play smart. <sighs> Let's go. Now a play fake here on first down. Why on earth did I throw that? Why throw that? I for whatever reason I thought he was gonna. I thought it'd be a good play to start. Good hit, Lewis. Okay. Lock up on defense, man. It's not over. Honestly, a little bit of adversity to start is never a horrible thing. I'm just mad at myself. I There's really no excuse for what I just did. Good defense. That's all right. Good defense, Brad. Hold him to three. Get the ball back. Oh, hold him to three. Get the ball back. Really though? 
Dang, Kalen, I would have liked that one, man. I would have liked that one. Kalen's getting torched by CD on slot post. I got to follow that. Rather than following the other guy, I follow that. Okay, horrible start, guys. 10 out of 10 bad. No excuses, 10 out of 10 bad. Bro, we fumble. He has not fumbled on that really all year, if I'm being honest. Good defense, okay. Three, I guess. We can stop him. Like, it's not... It's not impossible to stop him. It's totally offense. Like, a fumble. Oh, we missed it. Thank gosh. Okay. Ooh, I'll take that. I'll take that. Okay, Jaden Daniels, we get a second chance here, kid. Catch, Teach. Good job, Roth. Okay. Honestly, it, it comes down to just like, I gotta slow everything down. We've made two really bad mistakes. So I think just in general. Good job, Daniels. I just gotta slow things down. Like, let's just. Get seven here. We don't have to overthink things. Let's just do everything we can to to get seven points. I just want to get back on defense with with, with a chance. We've we've played horrible, but the second mistake didn't cost us. So let's just get on offense with a chance. I don't know if you guys just saw what Nick Bosa did. Holy, I don't know if you saw what Nick Bosa just did, but that was ridiculous. On play action, they'll throw. Forced out to his left. He's gonna let this go. Back of the end zone. And this one drops. Oh, Bosa just killed us. I don't know why I ran this. Okay. They're gonna try and throw. So there's just nothing you can do with Bosa and Parsons. Okay. Try and get a stop, I guess. Play for the next drive. I don't know why I ran Baltimore. Thank you. Bro, we're not out of this. Like, I don't, I don't know what you think. I don't, I don't believe we're out of this yet. I do not believe we're out of this. Oh, we could be, should be, but we're not. I've given T-Stop every chance to just totally kill us here, and he has not taken it. He's short. Oh my gosh, I'm short. They'll try and throw for it here. And it's I don't deserve it, man. I can't move. I honestly, dude, I have not moved. So it's like, what am I supposed to say? I've had opportunities in this game. I just have not taken advantage of them at all. Like, should not have used Raven's playbook. If I could go back, I would definitely change that decision. But it's not a decision I can go back and change. So, oh my gosh. It's just hard when both said, like, frick. Oh, are you seeing this? 
Are you seeing what his freaking D line is doing right now? Like, what do I do about that? Let's catch Addison. Just watch his two D linemen right now. Like, what? A I'm like trying, man. I'm trying to block this up, but just watch him. It's literally instant. Like, it's it's instant. It's instant. I don't know, man. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I shouldn't have thrown that, but like, they're both they both insta shed in like half a second. So. Not a whole lot I can do about that. Good job, Harden. Okay, I'm, I'm taking three. Okay. We'll take points. Oh my gosh. Come here. Give me those! Bro, that changes things a little bit. Catch, Teach. Three point game, baby. Three point game. And his offense has not moved that well. Like, I feel like I've played relatively decent against Taylor. So, you gotta believe, man. You gotta believe. We're, we're in this now. Oh, he threw that? Come here. That's that's second and long. That is second and long. Second and twenty-three. That's fine. I'm I'm willing to give you a third and long. I'm willing to give you a third and thirteen. Kalen, why do you freaking suck so bad today? Oh, how many times can I put you in man against him and just get torched? Good defense. Come here! Bro, I put a vert. I put a vert hook on Ward. That bugs me because there was a vert hook there. Good defense. Bro, that's that is unreal from Dak Prescott. Unreal from him. I can't even be that mad. That that's crazy. Yeah, that's tough. Push him back. It's a loss of five. Slot post. It's slot post. Prescott from the gun. How is that not a pick six, man? I just broke this. I don't even know. Why? What is Kalen Barnes doing? Someone logically explained to me what... Kalen Barnes is doing. 
logically explain to me what Caleb he literally was in front of him. That was that was a pick six. That was a pick six, and we were gonna be plus four. Now we're pretty much cooked. That's ridiculous. I don't care what anyone says. That's ridiculous. Barnes was right there, man. He was right there. Look at look at Bosa. Like, what do I do? Congrats, dude. You know how to use Nick Bosa and Micah Parsons. Like, congrats. Do you want your trophy now or later? Like. Bro, where are you? Someone fell. Oh my gosh, whole team's cooked, man. Whole team is cooked. Cross our fingers at this point. Take take three. Cross your fingers. Never gonna use this playbook again against this team. There's just like, it's how do you what do you do when you're sacked immediately from both sides? You got the two best edge rushers on the same team. Like what do you do about that? That's pretty well it. That's pretty much game. Big one coming in this divisional round playoff, third and goal. And he's not gonna get any Gonzalez is kicking. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Kelvin Joseph. GG's man, GG's. Oh, yo, I just like, I don't know. That wasn't the right strategy. I definitely shouldn't have used um, that playbook against him. I just, it's, you're getting sacked immediately. I got to figure out a way. I got to like, honestly, if we're talking the future of this franchise, I got to find a way to, to get some freaking pass protectors, like some linemen who can, who can do something. Because that's not even fun. Like I, there's no, there's no answer to them. He pass commits, and then you just you're you're cooked. He's got two superstars there. Like I said, I don't know. Your answer is as good as mine. And then if it wasn't, if he wasn't the case where he had a 90 overall run stopper in the middle with inside stuff, you'd be able to run more. But then I once I double him, the other two just come in. T Sap should win 100 Super Bowls. But I'm hopefully I will not let him beat me again. I'll, I'll, you guys will be able to see his kind of um, his perspective as we go here uh, for the rest of the video. But definitely just an annoying team to play against. There's I just I felt annoyed, but I didn't play great. I know I could have given it a better game in a different playbook, but I don't think necessarily I would have won. But came down to that freaking Kalen Barnes play. I needed that so bad, so 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 bad. But at the end of the day, guys. You gotta let me know what we want to do next year. I'm trying. I'm trying with this Vikings team, but it's just like, ugh. We just got. We we just happen to be in a league with a dynasty over here. With just, I don't know. It's just a tough team to be right now with an X Factor QB and all those Quez. You add Quez Watkins and free agency, superstar Luke. Like, it's tough sledding. Not making any excuses, but like, I don't usually lose to T Sap like that. Let me just let me just tell you that. Um, but we got to, hey, it's part of what's going to make this franchise fun. Guys, what do I do? Like, there's a few options. Do I need, where's the need? I think O-line's a need. Um, 
I don't know. I thought Kalen got torched all game. I really did. But I, I think he's getting better. Like, he's going into year four, so... The fight goes on. Kill the like button for the next one. Peace. Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome to the Super Bowl 61 pregame show. I am your host, Mike Too Wavy. This is my co-host, Mr. Retro Man. T.D. Barrett and the Memphis Egyptians taking on T.S.A.P. and the London Black Knights, man. This path to the playoffs, kind of crazy, man. Uh, looking on the NFC side and the Memphis Egyptians, they defeated the Washington Commanders of 45-42. The San Francisco 49ers, 51 to 47, and they in the NFC Championship game, they defeated the New York Giants, 43 to 39. All those games, extremely, extremely close and very high scoring. And that appears to be TD's game, high scoring, close games. Uh, Mr. Retro, what do you think of our, uh, TD's season and path to the playoffs? Hey, man, listen, we all know that TD Bear is a great player. Um, he had a really good regular season, and he topped it off with a great postseason, man. Took on three really, really good opponents, three really, really good rosters. Um, the Commanders user was out there dominating late in the season. Um, the Giants user, um, fellow YouTuber, 8 Miles, he beat him 43-39, like you said. High scoring affair. Um, but, you know, Enrique Teague has been balling out. Marlon Branch has been balling out. And Teague's getting the job done out here. Thing you said, man. Now, looking on the AFC side, with T-Sap and the London Black Knights, they're led by quarterback Luis Matisse. Um, and their path to the playoffs, he defeated the Cleveland Browns 31-21, the Miami Dolphins 42-28, and the um, – Defending Super Bowl champion Denver Broncos, 26-19. to uh, T-Sap's path to the playoffs has been nothing short of a cakewalk. Grinded and earned every playoff win, and that's T-Sap's game. He's going to grind it out, and he's going to force you to make a mistake and to play the game and to win. If he's going to lose, you're going to have to beat him. He's not going to beat himself. That's, what, that's the kind of player T-Sap is, and that's why I love watching him play the game. Yeah, no, I completely, completely agree, man. He's actually a great player. Um, he took down the Browns, and then the Dolphins, and then the Broncos. And I really want to hone in on that Broncos win because yeah. Broncos user is Dylan, a.k.a. Madden Rocks, um, a pro player. He actually took me down in the playoffs 31-14. Uh, to 14. So, again, he, he completely smacked me, okay? And yeah. he took on TSAP. And T S I was able to hold his own, winning that game twenty six to nineteen. So that was a huge win right there. Yeah, massive, massive, huge win for T S A P. And uh, I believe that is why he's in the Super Bowl today because he he knows how to win the big games and win the games when they really matter. Now let's talk about this Super Bowl. Um, obviously, Luis Matisse, Enrique Teague. I believe this game is going to come down to who makes the play out of those two quarterbacks. Who do you think is going to make that play? Yeah, man, it's tough to say. Um, so Luis Matias, or you know, however you say his name, he's he's a beast. Okay. Yeah, for Don't sure. get me wrong. He X Factor 99 overall. But I feel like Enrique T has something different about him, yeah. man. There's something about that kid. I played him during the regular season and I saw it firsthand, man. He yeah. went down 21 points early in the game, but he came back to win. I, I think that Enrique T has the edge over uh Luis Matias, to be honest. Yeah. Um I agree. And I believe the edge that we're describing is his ability to run the ball. Uh, I believe he ran the mm -hmm. fastest 40. And keep in mind, I believe he's a rookie. So yep. he he, he ran the fastest 40 out of any quarterback in the combine. Now, while he is short, he's only 5'9", um, he came into the draft, you know, very high. Like, people did have high expectations for him, and that's why TD took mm -hmm. him in the first round. Um that in that edge that he has over Matisse is running the ball, but I do believe Matisse is the better passer because, like you said, he is the X factor. He has the throwing abilities, and he has what you need to be able to throw the ball. And I, me personally, I feel like the Black Knights have the advantage. Um, they have the X factors. They have the superstars, the fully dev D line, the fully dev wide receiving core, the fully dev t the tight end X factor. And obviously the quarterback. I mean, that is just some things that the Memphis Egyptians don't have. But they they have enough. They have enough to make this game competitive. Um, well, who do you think the X factor is going to be in this game? Yeah, man. I mean, we've talked a lot about uh, Luis Matias. We've talked a lot about you know other players on TSAP's team. But let's go over to TD Barrett's team now. TD has Marlon Branch. 
Now, Molly Branch is literally the second coming of Barry Sanders. This yeah. kid is a beast. He is a beast. I think he's in his second year, maybe third year, but I think yeah. second year. Um, X Factor, 99 overall. I've never seen anything like him. I think he's going to be the X Factor to this game. I believe the X Factor, I think, is on TSAP's team, and it's not a specific person. It's a unit. I believe the X Factor in this game is a pass rush. Yeah. We see TD, TD no offense, but we see you under pressure. And... Things get a little hectic when he's under pressure. And what does TSAP do the best? In almost every league I've seen him in, he's had a fully dev D-line. And when he puts edge threat and pass committed on those outside linebackers and defensive ends, things get crazy. And TSAP has the fully dev D-line, like we said, in the pass rush. That is going to be the X factor in this game. Can TD contain the pass rush? Can he contain the blitz? And me personally, I just don't think he can do it. I mean, that's a perfect segue right there, Michael. What do you think the score of this game is going to be? Who's taking it home? Uh, man, that is, that's a good question. Um, I, me personally, I actually believe I I got to give it to TSAP, man. I, I think TSAP is going to win this game 28-24, and the play of the game will be something defensively. That I think something is going to happen defensively that will turn the tide of the game. What do you think? Hey, listen, you're taking TSAP. I'm taking TD Barry, man. Give me TD 38-35. Listen, he has Enrique T, like we talked about. He has Marlon Branch. He has Tyreek Hill. We didn't mention, but 99 overall, 99 speed X factor. Listen, TD versus of the world. Give me TD Barry, man. Let's go. Hey, I don't blame you for that take, man. We'll see. We will see. All right, man, that is going to do it for the Super Bowl 61 pregame show. I have TSAP. Mr. Retro has TD winning the Super Bowl, man. Ladies and gentlemen, fellas, bruh, the Memphis Egyptians Super Bowl. We freaking did it, guys. This is most likely the final episode of the Memphis Egyptians. Um, as I mentioned in the last year, there's an overwhelming amount of support. If you guys love the Egyptians and want to bring it back, he'll like one. But, hey, this is what we pay for, bro. TD Barrett versus TSAP, Super Bowl, London versus Memphis, Oh my gosh, there's so much to this. Guys, this is what it all comes down to. The two expansion teams, me and TSAT played in the very first game of this series. I don't know if you guys remember, I ended up winning the very first game of the series. Since then, we've both done a ton of ridiculous things. He's actually won a Super Bowl in this league. I have not won a Super Bowl in this league. Um, me and TSAP currently, he's probably he's my biggest competition. So I've won seven Super Bowls in all the leagues combined and TSAP has won three. So he is my closest competition. Uh, amongst all the different players for like best player in here. And this is what matters, bro. Um, Black Knights, holy moly. I'm going to have kind of a pregame show. I may have already had it uh, with a couple of guys in the league. They wanted to do a pregame show for this because they consider this the biggest game uh, in my channel history. YouTuber versus YouTuber, NFC versus AFC, London versus Memphis, expansion versus expansion, and potentially the final episode. Boom, bam, look on the screen. Okay, guys, there's a couple things that disappointed me. Um, and that frustrated me that happened. Essentially, Enrique Teague, he did get a big um, progression boost. So I did get him over to 90 overall. He got the 12,000 XP plus 11 upgrade. Um, so I was able to use a bunch of skill uh, per skill upgrades to get him hot route master, which was important. But I was shocked because Enrique Teague did win rookie of the year. And I was banking on it, him going up to X Factor and potentially getting some better abilities. It did not happen. Unfortunately for us, I was a little bit disappointed. It's going to make this game just that much more difficult, but it is what it is. The show must go on. Now, let's go look at TSAP team. We're going to do it. We're going to talk through everything. Holy schmoly. Okay. This is Luis Matias. Um, this is TSAP's quarterback. He was undrafted. This is, he's going to make a quarterback. Sixth round pick in the inaugural season of this. And uh, these are his career stats. 77 touchdowns to 19 pick. He had 95 touchdowns in 2024. TSAP passes every single play. 77 touchdowns to 19 picks. And this year he had 5,400 yards with Matias. Absolutely disgusting seasons. Um, he's the two-time best quarterback. And I'm surprised, I'm surprised he's not an MVP. Um, but he's one of the best players in this entire league. There's no, no one can deny it. He's unbelievable. At running back. He is 99 overall, Jonathan Taylor. Best running back in the league, probably the only one close to Marlon Branch. Very similar to Marlon Branch, kind of a mere match. 
95 speed, 96 acceleration. The thing is, TSAP doesn't run the ball a whole lot, um, but he has 912. He'll get him 1,000 a year with a good amount of touchdowns. And the Reds don't expect him to go there. He's a beast. Now, receiver, he's got three superstars. He's got superstar Alonzo Hopkins, a rookie superstar, superstar Trent Day, and superstar Devon Adams. This is the only part, shocking as it sounds, this is the only part of his team that I think is a little bit weak. Um, Alonzo is not a 70, an 80 overall, so he's probably not even going to start. And then he's really only got Devonte. Devonte is a beast. Don't get me wrong. Route technician and red zone threat. Dude's a boss. Um, and Trent Day is probably his best overall receiver. He gets open all the time. He's beat me on a ton of different routes. Uh, both these guys, crazy productive. And then at tight end, he has a superstar, Jelani Woods, who is an absolute monster as well. He has short out elite. Um, he's had a really good career for TSAP. He just signed him to a big deal. So on offense, count with me. One, two, three, four, five. Six. All of his skill positions are superstar. Now that doesn't end it. He also has superstar Quentin Nelson, who's a beast. Uh, and then he has right tackle Brandon Smith. Now the defense is the toughest part. Because like I said, I'm going to unpack this whole team because like I said, this is the biggest game ever. Quiddy Payne, he is made into an absolute monster. Um, Quiddy Payne, under pressure and double or nothing. Dude's crazy. Superstar. Stud. He's got DeForest Buckner, who's a long time cold. He's, he's just re signed him a bunch of times. He's 32 years old. Under pressure, double or nothing. Outside linebacker, he's got Shaquille Leonard, who is a beast as well. Um, short route KO, and uh, he'll play some, but not too crazy. But his best rusher is definitely Josh Uche. Um, he's a 91 speed rusher, pass committed, and edge threat. I think he had a really good year for him. He's ridiculously fast. He had 13 sacks on the year, 19 a couple seasons ago. You already know how TSAP's going to play. He's going to put this guy in a lot of situations where he's in one-on-one, -on -one, pass rush moves. It's tough. His DB room is good. Greedy Williams, Monte Barnett. This guy's a stud, six foot three. All of his DBs are tall. He's got this DeAndre Patterson, a rookie who's six foot three. Everyone, he prides himself on tall DBs. You don't moss TSAP. Everyone on his team is tall, and you can see that. Now Jabril Peppers, Nick Cross is his user. Guys, strategy for us. How do we win this game? How do we go in here in a tough environment? Hey, hey, the Super Bowl, biggest game of the season. How do we win? We run the ball and we get stops. I, I've stopped TSAP. You guys, I, I know I can beat TSAP. I've beat him a lot more times this year than he has beat me. And I know that. But the main thing is we need to be able to run the ball. I have a guy by the name of Marlon Branch. Now, if you guys are still listening, this is going to be a little bit of a teaser. If you're actually still listening to me talk right now, please. Show your OG and just type in green tape and then I'll know you guys listen to me rant and don't just skip to the end. Kalen Barnes gets an upgrade. Dude should have been. This was another one I was disappointed in. I can't believe this. Kalen Barnes was the best player in the league. He did go up to star dev, but Kalen Barnes, bro, had 12 picks for me. How does he not get a bigger upgrade? That really, 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 really got me mad. Um, but my goal is to come in here and run the ball. I, I can do a couple different things with my team. Now that Teague does get Haw Route Master, um, I can take off some of these abilities. So for example, on Marlon Branch, instead of Human Joystick and Running Back Apprentice, I can actually switch this up and I can go, I could go something like short in, put him at receiver, could go grab and go, could go backfield mismatch, could go evasive. You know, there's just, there's a lot of different options. Um, probably go evasive um, for that ability. Now, receiver, Tyree Kill. Now, his, his routes can change a little bit. So now I can go route tech and short out. Now, I don't know if that's really worth it. Deep out elite is a good ability. Red zone threat, I'd love to put on him. But, hmm. <laughs> Let's go deep out. If I'm desperate, I'll try and moss somebody with Tyree Kill. That's kind of where I'm at. Jamal Pierman, uh, his abilities are going to stay the exact same. Short elite, guys. If this is the last Memphis episode, we're going to try and go out on top. We're going to try and send eight. We're going to try and be great. We're going to go try and change the world today. You guys already freaking know. Um, it's showtime. JC, CJ Henderson, Darnell Savage. This is what we've worked towards. This is why I do this job. This is why I freaking love this job. Super Bowl Media Day. I'm going for my eighth. See, the thing is, I also don't want him to win because I currently have seven Super Bowls. He... Only has three. If I win, he closes the gap and he's only three down. If I win, I am plus five on Super Bowls this year that on TSAP, which would be cool. Ladies and gentlemen, Super Bowl, let's day. Choose today, Brett. Choose today. Choose today. Choose today. Choose today. 
to be great. There's Luis Matias, bro. That's his guy. That is an impressive, impressive story. The Matias story is one that I, I got to say, I got to shake hands. Marlon Branch, my favorite story on my team, a second round pick who became the GOAT. Tyreek Hill, who we bring in for a potential last dance. Memphis versus London. Ah, come on, man. Let's That's freaking go. Oh, let's dance. Ah, ah. Who's today, Brett? Always a good day to be great. Make today it. Go, Marlin. Go, Marlin. Good run, Marlo. Good run, Marlo. Mm, he's exhausted. That's on me. I, I, I rushed that play more than I should have. Okay, great start. Great start, great start, great start. Third one. Play fake. Team. Let's go, Pyramid. Good throw. When you when you put hooks on the field, this is something little known fact. When you put hooks on the field, those guys will like go with the hook, kind of no matter what. Um, if you watch the pros, I actually I can say who I learned that from. I learned that from watching a lot of young Kiv. He would put those hooks on the field, and then they just suck down all the zones to them, leaving essentially what happened there where his guys did not react because they were so focused on that dude guys 7-0 let's go play defense 1-800 play defense 1-800 play defense this is taken just shy of the 10 and no they run once more with taylor now this will leave them a yard it's like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses nope He's going to that well and it's working right now. Really, really, really well. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. And they're able to work this, of course, in the NFL. Being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. From the gun, it's Taylor. Whatever we're doing, we're not stopping the run right now. Let me just call that how it is. We are. We have no answer for this run game, which is not what we wanted going into this at all. Oh my God! Give me those freaking purple T sap. There's a purple. Purple. Come on. Put the purple there. I knew you were going to freaking try and throw that stupid run. Absolute genius. Okay, let's let's play ball. Let's play ball. Let's play ball. Let's play ball. Oh my gosh, that's tough. Second and sixteen. Thing is, I I know how good he is on defense. You guys, with like I need three of those. At minimum, 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 we need to leave here with three points. And that's a no matter what. Like that's a. There's no even debating that. We got to find a way to leave here with three points because. Yeah, and he's he's doing a really good job against the run right now. Which, Oh, you can't miss him. They're gonna try and throw. going deep for Hill. Got him. Don't put the purple over there, T-Sap. Freaking dumped! I knew it! Knew he was gonna put a purple on that side. I had a gut feeling. I was like, he is 100% going to try and make sure that I don't beat him with the corner row. So I was like, you know what? All I'm going to do, streak Tyree kill. We got the bump that he used to get against me all the time when he ran bench. 14-0. Now we play a little bit more confident on defense. Now we freaking start buzzing. Gotta start buzzing here. So to me, we always talk about someone stepping up and making a big play. I 
think it would behoove them if multiple guys step up and make big plays right now. They need something positive to happen. They need for it to happen now. There we go, Barno. Oh, still. And he'll go down definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he's going to be marked out. They'll look to throw here on first down. And it's caught. Touchdown. Devontae Dang, he caught me. He caught me in an adjustment. Okay. We gotta try and get seven here before half. That was a that was a needed stop. We needed if, if we could have stopped him there, we would have put ourselves in a very, very, very good spot. I'm considering going dollar against him. Um the defense we're doing right now is not thriving. So definitely in my head, I'm considering giving him a dollar look. He has a Devontae Adams with red zone threat, so that's pretty much what happened on that play. Is he just threw it up. To Devontae and he made a play. Dang it, man. Okay. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three. Because remember, Charles drives one and two, both ended in the end zone. Yeah, right now they've just mm, got good to run, Marlon. Not to... Ready? Back to throw. T. In trouble and he's taken down. DeForest Buckner forced his way through, drops him for a loss of 10 yards. This is cover three, Brett. This is cover three. We know it's cover three. Look, look to the Dion Bush right in the middle. Off play action. Team. Cover three. You just know it. You guys just know what he's going to. Boom! Good throw. Third and 16. Got him again. And Rike freaking Teague. Good dot, Teague. Good dot. Holy moly. Breathe, breathe. Don't tell me to breathe. Let's go. Don't tell me to breathe. Marlon. Hands out, Marlon. I'll use time. I only got two. Three is not the end of the world. Um, and he might even give us timeouts, so that's why I'm like, I'll take one there. But three is not a horrible, horrible, horrible result in this situation. Seven is what we want, but three will not keep me up at night. Three is not garbage. Now a play fake here on first down. Dancing to his left. And see. Off the play fake. Team. Oh my gosh. No! Cheat me, bro. Never seen. Oh my gosh, that was to Dion Bush. That was to Dion Bush. Oh my gosh, that was to Dion Bush. That, my friends, is what I like to call absolute garbage. There's no other word for that. That is complete and total garbage. Enrique Teague missed that dude by like 14 yards, and they called it a perfect accuracy bullet pass. So what are you going to do, man? We can fight now. Oh, my gosh. That is unfortunate. Okay, we're going to go into half, fellas. Okay, he gets ball at half, too. We're in a horrible spot. We are in an absolutely horrible spot. Teague misses a wide-open Dion Bush by about 15 yards for a pick six. And then a kickoff return. Now, I got two options for the Memphis Memphis Egyptians. I can give up or we can go out here and keep playing, dude. I think we got to I'm going to choose to go out here and keep playing football. That's the only thing we can do in this spot. No quit. Absolutely no quit. Don't give up. Let's switch to a different defense. Let's let's give let's try some different things out. And let's see if we can get some stops. Can't just quit though. And I think you'd have to say their coaching staff, all things considered, had to be pleased with their performance. On play action, they'll throw. Now this will be swung out wide for Taylor. 
And he'll be team. They go play action here on first down. Sliding out of the pocket. He hits Adams complain. Yeah, he's worried about the deep ball. They leave too much space in front of him. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Dang. And touchdown. A great Dang. play there. Fight, man. Fight. Try and get seven here and stay in it. Try and get seven here and then stay in it. You're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. Open man left sided. Off the play fake. T. Don't quit. Don't quit. Don't quit. Don't quit. And he's taken down. Keep fighting, Teague. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. So from the 36 now, Show's not over. Show is not over. Until I say it's over. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. Off play action. Teague. Oh my gosh, Teague. We got to make that, bro. We got to make that, Teague. Again, he'll drop the throw. Oh my gosh. Dude, I can't with him right now. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Teague, bro. I sneed that, Teague. I. Ugh. Come on, Enrique. Go, Marlo. Go, Marlon. Go, Marlon. Don't you dare get caught, kid. Don't you dare get caught. Dion. Oh, that one. How the heck do we not catch that? How the heck do we not catch that ball? Off the play fake. T. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight yard line. On first down, Branch. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Operating from the gun, T. To dot. Hey. Not gonna give up, man. I'm not just gonna go home. I'm trying, bro. I'm freaking trying. Oh my gosh. Do it for Memphis, bro. Do it for Memphis, Brad. You got this. Stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Got a man. It's complete to Jelani Wood. First and ten, Taylor now. Come on. Oh. Just a yard or two Even that stings a lot. No, he's gonna he's gonna kill the clock now. The, the, this clock is about to go tick, freaking top. He's gonna kill and potentially might even take three here. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Pass thrown to Adam. You lose your keys as a defense. You die for the running play and they hit him over the top. Yeah, he'll right. Continue to possess the football. Gain some yardage and put the onus on the Doing a good defense. job taking the clock down. I'll give him that. They're gonna look to throw. Oh. Ah, he got it. Oh, okay, what's the situation here, fellas? Dang, Memphis. Dang, 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 Memphis. Badly trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and ten. And going deep for Hill. It's in. And second and ten. He'll look to throw again. Throw it for Good job, Marlon. Can really generate big plays for an offense. Oh my gosh. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Oh, did anyone else think Jamal was open? Is it just me? Just me, just me, just me. Guys, this uh, this this could potentially be this could potentially be the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going home. 
I'm not going home, TSAP. I'm not going home. You're going to at least have to get one. I'm going to do everything I can to make sure he earns it. He has to get one more first down in this game. Everything I can to make sure he earns it. Okay, hurry it up, hurry it up, hurry it up. Off the play fake. T. Will Davis, one oh, one guy to beat Davis. One guy to beat Will Davis. They'll look to throw again. Love you, Teague. Love you, Teague. Always will, bro. Let's go. Defense. I don't know if it's possible. I don't know if I'm just dreaming. But let's try and find a way, guys. All I can say is I've given myself a chance. I've given myself a chance. My gosh, man. I freaking had this game. I know it. Oh, that's what frustrates me so much. If it's not for that freaking swing, dude. We got a chance to potentially go up 14 points going into half. Instead, I go into half without ball down 14. Like, how do you... There's no, um, there's no remedy for that. That's just... That's just tough. Come here. Oh my gosh, Brian Burns. Good job, BB. Now it looks like he'll throw here. He finds his man. You get it? You did. They give the Taylor out of the gun. And he's got room. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the Might even pass here. I'm just trying to end it. Back to Taylor on first down. And he'll take this ahead. Again, it's Taylor. And this winds up a pickup of two. On third down, here's Taylor. GG's, fellas. Congrats, he's up. Oh, my gosh. Game came down to it, bro. It came to... I, I honestly think... Um, it came down to the, the two-point swing before half there. That's unavoidable. The fumble and the miss throw. And I, I will go to my deathbed saying that I those were not my fault. Well, things started off exciting. This one had a high score in first half, and nobody let their foot off the gas in the second half either, Charles. And, you know, for them, a really nice victory in a high-scoring output. You're right about that because so many times... Big time win for him, dude. It's a tough team to beat. And tough team to be a little bit harder to score near the end of games as we know because everyone tightens down but no such issues in this game dang 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 right dang 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 guys the the game. no matter what just happened congrats to tsap um huge congratulations to tsap and uh yeah we, we we did our best i, I can honestly say I, I i did my best it was this this was oh this was it bro I don't know if you guys see what I'm looking at. I'm throwing right here. I'm throwing to this guy who's on a post. So he's on a post and this guy's in a zone. This is, this is a series of unfortunate events. This guy, he's on a post. This guy's in a zone. Look at this. And then and look, where, look where Enrique Teague is not pressured, okay? He's not pressured. Look at where he throws that ball. He is throwing to this post. And that goes for six, bro. You, you can't... And then you have the fumble. You can't make up. Those are errors that you lose Super Bowls in. Against good people, I gave him the ability to play exactly his game. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boom! So, TSAP, uh, I was going to use his, show you guys his content, but the Super Bowl was won by the Cincinnati Bengals. Shout out to the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, just want to give an outro going into the next video. We're, we're in a bit of shambles. Um, I genuinely need advice. Like, I'm asking. I'm not, like, I, I will listen. Bad things happened. Um, give me moves. Give me real. Like, I will listen. If people are, give me moves, things, people to get rid of. I don't want to do anything crazy, but I'm willing to. Like, I, I don't think I'm beating TSAP with this team. That, that playoff performance was a huge L. I don't know what I got to do. I don't know what I got to say. I, I was boxed. And it was not pretty. Help me out going into the offseason, guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Resign. We got players. It's going to be a mess. I don't know. Free agency. We got $69 million in cap. 
show goes on, but man, oh man. Oof, this Vikings franchise has been a mess. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have a second channel where I post hockey gameplay. Please go subscribe. The nicest thing you do to me, just go check out that channel. Leave a like, even if you don't like hockey, give it a chance, subscribe to the channel. Uh, my Instagram is at BrettBQB. My Twitter is TDBearYG. I am a part of Top Dog Madden. You can get all the best tips at topdogmadden.com for your eBooks, all those type of things. Thank you guys so much for watching. Kill the like button again. If you haven't killed the like button on this video, do it. And once again, go check out my hockey.